This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Okay.守りたいと思う心に嘘はなかった。大切にしたいと思う心は誰よりも強いはずだった。優しさから生まれた感情はやがて殺意へと変わり、真っ白だった思いは赤と黒で染まってゆく。それが守りたかった日常の崩壊を
Someone tapped my shoulder. It was Tomita and Okamura. <laughs> it didn't feel good going along with them, so I was a little unsympathetic with my response. Mm. A rumor. About Satoko. They haven't said that, but it didn't seem unrelated. They didn't want to talk in the classroom, so they pulled me behind the school building, lending further credence to that thought. The back of the school was damp and humid, like always. Students didn't really come here because they wanted to. It might, however, have been the ideal location for trading rumors away from prying eyes. あるいはじゃ、さえ、佐藤は一体どうしたってんだ。風邪なのかそれとも、ひょっとしてもっと重い病気か、怪我か何かで。いえ。それがむしろ逆で、うちのばあちゃんの話だと昨日の昼にうち
Maybe. <sighs> Who are we kidding? It, it's a horror game rated M. It's Of course it's not going to be that. My underclassmen clammed up and looked downwards. There must have been some big hint buried in there. Even if I didn't understand, if I told Mion and Rena about it, maybe they'd know something. Oh, sorry, that might be true, but it still won't. It won't make the clouds over my mind fade away. Welcome, Erika, and cried wildly, pointing over my shoulders behind me. Startled, I turned around, and on way on the other side of the schoolyard, near the school gate, I saw a figure trudging forth. Ah! Why is her? Why are her eyes dead? That's not what I want to see. Oh my gosh, her eyes are just empty. Yikes. Oh. Well, that creeped me out. Oh, that's the worst one. Oh, she, she literally looks dead inside. This is horrible. I burst into a run faster than I could speak. So that, as quickly as possible, I could see with my own eyes that she was okay. Start go! Satoko seemed taken aback by me shouting and running over to her. <laughs> it's rated M, okay? When I cut the streams up... it's I say it's rated M. If you're 17 years old, you can watch the video. Also, people can click off whenever they want. Well, this is not good. Oh, she's hiding the pain well, though. Okay. From listening to her, she seemed like the normal Satoko, but I could tell she was clearly acting strangely. Her smile was somehow forlorn, and her complexion was bad for some reason. Tomita Kun and Okamura Kun both expressed their concerns. ごめん、探せですわ。ちょっとお家のお掃除をしたりしてたんですのよ。だいぶ長いこと使ってませんでしたから、もう家中ほこりだらけでして。はあ。佐藤子、お前何を言ってんだ。なんで家の掃除なん
してますわもう本当に心配してたんですからねお弁当が食べ終わったら職員室に来るんですよいろいろとお話があります Hopefully things that'll help her living situation. But somehow I don't think so. Mikka mo sabota kara, kitto ome dama ni chigai a r i m a s e n wa ne? Ah ha 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 ha! Sotoko laughed sheepishly. Sotoko laughed sheepishly while she scratched her head, and the rest of the class burst out into laughter. The teacher was acting angry, but she breathed a sigh of relief at seeing Satoko healthy and smiling as she ate her lunch with the class surrounding her. Maybe she knows more than she's waiting on. I looked at Rena and knew. She had a sense about something that, that something about Satoko was off, too. I looked to see Mio detached from the clamor as well, with a somewhat grim expression. But Rika, on the other hand, was smiling from ear to ear. She spread out the bento boxes one by one as Satoko finished them. <laughs> Yay! Finally, Satoko was satisfied, and after enjoying a thorough conversation with her classmates, remembered that she'd been called to the teacher's lounge. Oh no! <laughs> めんどくさいんですけど、行かないともっと怒られてしまいそうですからね。僕も一緒に行きますですよ。So Togo rises from her seat and Rika runs over to her. ごめん遊ばせ、ケイチさん。ちょっと怒られてまいりますわ。お、おう。なんだったら、俺も一緒に付き合うぜ。例のカレーの悪口の時、一緒に職員室で怒られた中じゃないか。That's true, but I don't think we're getting murdered this time. それには及ばないのです。<laughs> we don't want Rena and Mion killing everyone else. Rika's words were gentle, but the firm rejection in it was clear in her eyes. Was it? The two of them exited into the hallway, walking shoulder to shoulder. After seeing them off, the class breathed a collective sigh of relief, broke apart, and went back to their usual lunch break banter. We, however, couldn't go back to how we usually were. <laughs> yeah, see? Look at. Oh my gosh. The serious faces on the girls. Uh oh. Not I, not m i o n and of course not Rena. They stared at the classroom exit Satoko and Rika had left through, their expressions a little distant and grim. I blurted out something strange, so m i o n and Rena turned around with dubious expressions. I told them about the stories I heard from Tomita and Okamura earlier at the tofu shop and how Satoko's uncle had apparently come back. All at once without letting them speak. I ended my sentence firmly and looked at Mion in Rena's eyes in turn. Rena stared right back at me. I contact you! Her eyes didn't falter. Without even opening her mouth, I could tell she wasn't hiding anything. Then our gazes turned to Mion. <laughs> you say this a lot, Mion. Mion couldn't seem to endure our silent stares, and began to talk timidly, as if she was guilty of something. いや、そのサトコのおじが帰ってきたっての帰ってきた初日から知ってたよ。To be fair, it was mainly chapter one where he's like, I can't trust anybody, and I'm pretty sure he was going insane in that chapter. Well, he he did go insane in that chapter. He clawed his throat out at the end. この間の日曜日にフラットひなみざわに帰ってきたって。At the barbecue? When was this? どうしてそれを黙ってた？ <laughs> I'm sorry! I didn't think it was important! <laughs> My angry shout caused Mio to flinch away, look down, and hang her head uncomfortably. I lowered my head in apology. Mio accepted it, collected herself, and continued. According to her, her uncle's relationship with his lover, 
whom he had been with in Okinomiya, had collapsed. Without anywhere to go, he went back home to Hinamizawa. Oh, was he mooching off of her? <laughs> He's like, well, my lover kicked me out, gotta go back to the only real estate I own. Great, this guy sounds like a real loser. And, on that Sunday, the day of the barbecue, her uncle ran into Satoko and brought her back into the house. Sometimes, the creepiest horror is not supernatural. Uh-oh. Oh, so he's just a, an absolute loser. Bro, when a 12-year-old... Oh, God. Why do they... That, why does this sprite creep me out so much? Like, almost as much as the reptile eye sprites outside. <laughs> By the way, when a 12-year-old girl is outperforming you in life, uh, you you know you're not in a good position. I remember that she said she'd been cleaning the house when I met her back at the school gate. A moment later, the pieces fell into place, into the jigsaw puzzle of unease. And as for what the puzzle depicted, when I saw it from afar, I could see the answer clearly. Satoko Okay, so we gotta do something. <laughs> Alright, we got we gotta teach this this punk uncle a lesson. If you knew that, why didn't you speak up? I nearly yelled at that in Mion, but hastily stopped myself. Mion looked down again, and staring at the floor, grew quiet. Even Rena knows about mean uncle. But that Akichi, I think you underestimate how much of a dick this guy is going to be. <laughs> Dane Rena. Rena clearly and directly got mad at me. That's not nearly as mad as Rena can get, but understood. You don't know much about this, so don't talk as though you do. Yes, that's clearly what she meant. Can we call CPS and tell them about this? At the very least, tell them, like, yeah, this guy abandoned his 12-year-old niece for a year to chase after some booty. He's clearly not fit to have custody. There we go. Well, I guess if we do that, she'll be taken to an orphanage or something, but that's gonna be better. Clearly. <laughs> Mm, lovely. Oh. Yeah, as the very least, even if there's not a lot he could do to fight back against the uncle, it's hard as horrible as it is, if there are two kids in the house, the abuse can get, like, divvied up. Oof, this is bad. This is bad! Right. And also, the aunt's not there! So if uncle's just a terrible person, like, oof. Oh, this is gonna be, like, triply bad. Okay, we gotta get rid of him. Uh, again, not condoning murder or anything. I'm just saying, like, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do something to help her. Yeah, 
どうして里子ちゃんに優しくできるっていうの Yes, but the, the chances are ex an exorbitantly slim. She was right. It wasn't easy for me to imagine Satoko not being tormented. Gome. Ah, go to go, man. Mion, I know you have connections. Now, don't <laughs> kill <laughs> him. <laughs> Just get him arrested or, you know, chase him out of town. An awkward atmosphere floated among us. The three of us remained silent and just stared at the floor. Does Rika know about this? Finally, we heard the principal's bell ringing. Hey, uh, Principal, we're going to need you to be a pal and help us with a abusive uh, uncle situation. The teacher came back with Satoko and Rika at her side. <laughs> Judging by that pristine smile on the teacher, we probably didn't get any... We're probably not getting any help from her. She probably doesn't know. <laughs> Yikes. That's, well, then how about we were like, hey, guess what, Elise? This guy's abusive. He's like, oh, just because you squeeze someone's shoulders a bit, that's not abusive. It's like, Elise, you suck. <laughs> I couldn't read anything from Satoko's vaguely sheepish expression. But given the clouded look Rika was wearing behind her, it was tough to laugh off the disquieting story I'd heard from Mion. Yeah! Perfect! Indeed, in times like these, the best thing to do was obviously get rowdy and scheme against one another in the club activity. Mion laughed happily, took a bunch of games out of the club locker, and lined them up on the desks. I think that was the first time Mion ever let someone else decide on a game for her. I could tell she was being especially considerate to Satoko. Thinking that whatever her circumstances, if we could just enjoy our time together as a group, that might make some comfort, some diversion. Satoko seemed to understand her feelings too, and smiled vaguely, though pleased. But her head slowly moved from side to side. Uh-oh. Even Rika hung her head in remorse. おいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおい
Oh my gosh, it's Rika's serious voice, or face. She's only had this like once before. Hmm, hmm. Oh, this looks very bad. Rena made as gentle a smile as she possibly could and spoke softly to Rika-chan. Even without hearing it from her, we pretty much knew the situation at this point. Satoko's uncle had broken up with his lover and come back into Hinamizawa. And he had taken Satoko back home and forced her to do all the household chores. Mm. And that all had to be pretty rough on her. Thinking this was common knowledge to everyone, I skipped to the important part. Maybe Re Mion and Rena wanted to ask that same question. Nobody spoke. We all just stared, waiting for Rika's reply. <laughs> Rika still didn't answer us. We were hoping for her to say no, but her silence was a bad enough sign. Right. Sure. Shit. Satoko's not a slave! Who do you think you are? Ignoring your own inability to live properly and basically putting Satoko under house arrest. I mean, that is a little rich coming from the guy who had to have the 12-year-old girl come over and cook for him when his parents left him on his own. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying you're nearly as bad, but... Look, you... I'm just saying, you need to learn common life skills, too. <笑>いろいろと状況証拠は必要だろうけど、そういうのって虐待だろ。警察とかに通報できないのかよ。<笑> right. Ren and I kept saying police, police, as though it were nothing, but Mion's response sounded like we she thought we were a little naive. Mion's like, no, 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 we don't need the police coming or crawling around. <laughs> みんな簡単に言ってくれるけどさ。それを立証するリスクを考えたことある。リスクってなんだよ。一昨年の冬かな。通報したんだよ。自動相談所に。オッケー、そうでデッド。虐待があるからすぐに何とかしてくれって。あ
So what? From that conclusion, does that mean they never should have contacted Child Welfare in the first place? We have established proof that he had neglected her for a whole year. Why is this a discussion? Maybe we don't know the police have it on records? After hearing that, even public organizations, the one thing they thought was dependable couldn't do anything. Everyone hung their heads. Welcome to the government! Incompetent as always. Time to start our new YouTube channel. <laughs> I considered Satoko's current situation. She was brought back to her house. It was a little... difficult to call that abuse. She was being tormented and forced to do the chores. How was she being tormented w would be the key, but without concrete evidence it would be difficult to prove. If she had some kind of external injury, that would work. But as far as we could tell from today, she had nothing like that. And being forced to do the chores, that was a bit weak too. There had to be some better evidence that she was without a doubt being abused. Ah, I know. Her uncle had ignored Satoko's existence for a whole year and went to live with his lover until- Yes! He went on a year-long booty call! Didn't that fall under one of the definitions of abuse that Mion had mentioned? Child neglect? Yep, we got it. Mm. The police had it on record that he left. Uh, is that how spin it? Once we reported it, we would need to be absolutely sure they'd interpret it as abuse. Maybe we needed far more concrete proof, lest we repeat last year's mistake. Yeah, it is. That, that disgusts me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm kind of hoping he's the one who gets murdered. <laughs> Again, I do not condone murder, even for stuff like this. Having said that, I also have no sympathy for people who are being uh, abusive towards children. Especially... Children that they are supposed to be responsible for, and especially if it's their family. So it's like the triple whammy. So again, I don't think he deserves to be murdered for this. I'm just saying, if he does get murdered, I'm not going to be sad about it. And I'll actually kind of be happy. This has been Artie's disclosure for the day. The only point I could think of was, in the end, just watching and waiting. It left me in shock when I realized that it would be the same policy as that of the officials who made the situation worse. As Mion said, reporting it to a public agency would be a gamble. If we're going to pick a fight, it would have to be one we couldn't afford to lose. If we were gambling, without enough money, without enough evidence, our defeat would be assured. If we took the time to amass enough money, then we could be sure of victory. And that would mean pretending we didn't see Satoko's plight for a considerable amount of time. She's built different. <laughs> yeah, Rika, are you okay for all of this? Rika had lost her parents, if I recalled correctly. From what I'd heard, she had no relatives either. She was forced to live on her own as a result, but her life was unfettered, free of restriction. If she could somehow grant that freedom to Satoko too. I, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a reasonable question. 12 year olds cannot live on their own, even back in the 80s. Rika shook her head, not particularly disturbed. How do you figure that? Oh, yeah! That's the guy she murdered last chapter. 
Okay. Eh. Oh, that was decent of him. Yoshi mitai na mono ka? Yoshi to wa chigao. Betsu ni seki o irenakute mo hogosha ni wa nareru nda yo. Hmm. Wakatte kita. Tsumari, Rika chan wa futsu ni kurashite ru kedo, horitsu no ue de wa Sonchou san no iye ni sunde ru koto ni nakeru nda. You'd think if the mayor was gonna like get guardianship of her that he'd be like, hey, like I'll take care of you. He's old, though. So no, because the Rika Chan was a personal gift to her. Personal, to say, is a personal gift. Hmm. She's the mascot. That's true. She is the like only remaining living member of like one of the three big families. Yeah. 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 つまりはそういうことなのですミオン今興味深いことを言ったな席が違っても保護者になれるみたいなことを言ったよなじゃあ形だけでも村長さんとかがサトコの保護者になってくれればいいんじゃないのか、oh. Is this where it's gonna be like Yeah but they hate her cause her family was against was for the dam project Then she'd be in the same position as Rika-chan And she could go back to her old life ところがそうはいかないのだっておじだって保護者のつもりなのちょっと待てわけがわからなくなったぞそもそも保護者ってなんだ In legal terms, a guardian and a parent weren't necessarily synonyms So whoever was actually looking after her at home would be considered her guardian ならおじは保護者じゃないなずっとサトコをほったらかしにしてたでも保護者だと主張されたらそれまでだよサトコが連れ戻されてから数日、うん、その間の食事代はおじの財布から出てるよね一応面倒を見てると主張できなくもないそれに1年間サトコをほったらかしたとはいえ最初の1年間は生活の面倒を見た実際に。ヘナンヘナンビッグブレインアイディア We just get uncle to go on another booty call All we have to do is set him up with some, like, bimbo. And he goes off. Boom. Problem solved. That's what we're going to do. It's, we're big braining it. It's not, the, it's not the best thing we could do. But it is one of the only things we can do. And I think, honestly, if, if he had another, like, bimbo to live with and be like, Hey, you can do the housework. Then he wouldn't need Satoko anymore. And then Satoko would be like, Hey, he left me for a booty call. And then it's like, all right, cool. That's it. Case closed. That's how we're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you you gotta you gotta think of the weird solutions. Oh, hi, Lickens. You came in at a very weird time. Trigger warning for uh, child abuse in this stream. But yeah, here we are. Demo Sonchou ni wa sono jisseki wa nai. Yeah, that's true. Ijiwaru na ojisan to Sonchou san ga doji ni hogosha o shuchou shita ra. That's yeah. Ojisan no hou ga tsuyoi ttekai. I mean, that makes sense. It's like, hey, two people are requesting to be her guardian. We got her uncle, and we've got the mayor of the town she's living in. It's like, um, uncle. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. その可能性が高いってこと I don't think Takano would go for that. それに保護者ってのは実際に面倒を見てる人を指すんだよ。And make him sound a lot better than he is. 実際に寝床や食事を握ってるおじと名義だけ貸そうとしてる村長じゃどうにもならない。True. じゃあ。村長が実際に生活の面倒を見ればいいじゃないか。It's a little hard now. そうすれば、名実ともに村長が保護者になれるんだろう。We're not even including the mayor in on this discussion. We just need to shelter Satoko. That might lead to her uncle being desperate to take her back, but we'll stubbornly refuse him. そんな簡単にはいかないよ。I'm telling you. Satoko は育ち盛りの女の子なんだよ。This is how we get through it. 人間一人の面倒を見てくださいなんて。<laughs> true, <laughs> that's true. Like, we, we need to get the mayor's permission on this. No! Well, I don't want coach. Okay, coach would maybe be an improvement. I don't, again, we haven't actually met the uncle, but I don't want coach adopting her. Coach is creepy AF! <laughs> no, we're not going with coach. I don't want to come to the moon. That would be very weird. Come to another. Sato Gomendo, Lipa Nimite, Kurel Kigasu. He gives me the creepies. 
から。She's like, not coach. You've heard how he talks. サトコをペットみたいに考えないでって。ケイちゃんはさっきからサトコを誰かに押し付ける話ばっかり。人間一人の生活の面倒を見る責任ってものをもっと慎重に考えて。監督に聞いたの。サトコを引き取って面倒を見るってちゃんと確約を得たわけ。そ,そんなの得てないよ。Yes, and... <笑>でも、監督なら絶対に OK するだろう。Like I've said, Coach is definitely on a list or two. He's not getting guardianship of her. And for good reason. <笑><笑>まあいいよ。100歩譲って監督が OK したとするよ。<笑>でもダメなんだよ。保護者は独身じゃダメなんだよ。Very true. <笑> ah, that's right, Coach. Didn't he say it himself? He was alone, so he couldn't do it. Shit! What the hell? Why is Sabine Siegel such a disadvantage in this society? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense that if you're single, you're not adopting kids. Kids generally need a mom and a dad. Also, if、uh, single people were easily allowed to、uh, adopt, that would probably cause a lot of bad situations like what's happening with Satoko right now. <laughs> That, that all you could do is marry into a wealthy family, couldn't you? <laughs> We're rich. Generally speaking, if you're wealthy, you're not living in Hick Boondocksville. <laughs> I mean, Uisi knows about Coach, so. Yeah, it's very true. Dare can you ski on at the Tanak taking a Kangai got some of some of the men and all. Kangai got signed, okay, Jama. Nan, Dio, Chicksha, Chicksha. Whatever Kishin Sato school to Kangai did only. Tameda, Tameda, ten Sorebakari. Oh, my God. Home to a Sato or Kotaka, do the way in the room. I'm sure she does. She just, you know, is trying to be realistic about it. She also does not want the cops sniffing around. Nakamano Koto, Honki the Shin Pashta nine that all. そんなそんなつもりないよでもそう簡単にはいかないっていうかいやそんな難しい話じゃねえだろ裕福なやつが佐藤をしばらく面倒にしてくれればいい<笑>それだけのことだぞ I'm telling you all we actually need to do is just have uncle go on a booty call again it, given the kind of person he is I don't think it would be difficult we can pull it off そうだミオンチはどうだよお前、ご三家とかいう立派な家柄なんだって自慢してたよな。I also don't want that! ミオンチ family runs a torture dungeon in their backyard! 話じゃ、ものすごいでかい家に住んでるそうじゃないか。Is there nobody normal who lives in this town? I think. No, no, Tomotake doesn't live in the town. He is the most normal character in this, though. う,うち無理無理そんなのバチャが許してくれるはずない True, Grandma probably isn't too cool. Like, what the heck? We're not getting another person in here. I don't know why Wendy would be in here. I don't want her living with Shion either. Shion's insane. I don't want her living with Shion either. Shion's insane. うん、おいおいおいおい<笑>普段は散々大物ぶりを自慢しといてここ一番で及び腰かよ何なんだよお前佐藤を見殺しにする気かよそ,そんなつもりはないけどそりゃ私だって佐藤を助けてやりたいよ<笑>でもそれとこれじゃ話がケイチ is very good at getting loud and emotional 話が違うってのかよ冷てえやつ仲間の危機だろここで救わなかったら何なんだよ部長だろ部活の救えよ仲間の危機をよ今ここで救わなかったら仲間じゃねえ人じゃねえ Alright, Keiichi, you're going a little bit too、uh, drama queen here. お前の人間性が問われてるんだよ聞いてるのかよ見ろ You're gonna get punched! My emotions all exploded out of me, and I didn't even give her a chance to say anything in response. I just wanted to make Mion agree with me, even if I had to force her. If she did, Satoko's problems would be solved. If pushing her would solve the issue, then I'd push her as much as I needed to.
<laughs> Run Rika's like, you're being a little weird. And over the top. <laughs> Mion, looking down with a grim face, began sobbing. Her hands were clenched into trembling fists, and she rubbed her eyes to wipe away the tears. She's breaking down crying. Rika's just like, this is better than TV. <laughs> was, was, was I said... Was what I said actually that mean? Yeah! <laughs> this isn't the time to cry. We're in the gambling room now, and we have to do something to save Satoko. As I thought that, Rena spoke, her voice cold and incredibly calm. <laughs> we need rich people! <laughs> Poor people? No, we need rich people. <laughs> I know what she's about to say. Rena, alright, you know, I gotta say, Rena, when she takes her meds, is probably the best character. <laughs> and actually, if Rena doesn't take her meds, she's also the best character, but for a completely different reason. あまってるお部屋いくつか佐都子ちゃんに分けてあげればいいじゃないそれでめでたく佐都子ちゃんの悩みは解決。<笑><笑> これでもう終わり <laughs> all right, all right, no, sorry, Rena forgot to take her meds today. Even the cicadas seem to cower in fear. Okay, Rena, you're being, you're being maybe a little bit, a little bit out there. Rena, her shoulders bobbing up and down, and me, who had forgotten to breathe. Mion, whose face had gone completely pale, and Rika, who was keeping silent as if nothing had happened. R Rika's just enjoying the TV program. The atmosphere in the classroom grew tight and stiff, and it petrified us where we stood. The sound of the chair as Rena sat back down, having stood up, finally allowed everyone present to take a breath. <laughs> Rena had shown me just how much I'd hurt Mion. True. But also, she's based. After a few moments, Rika-chan cut the frozen air. Rika-chan. <laughs> <laughs> nope, he deserved that. Ah,ごめん。めちゃくちゃなこと言って悪かった。さっきのあれ、私に言ってたの？みーちゃんにらみながら言ってたから、私てっきりみーちゃんに言ってるもんだとばかり思ってた。Rena had such strength that you wouldn't have imagined it normally. All I did was spout terrible things as a wave of violent fury passed over me. I couldn't contend with her. Mio. Come to think of it, I didn't understand what had gotten me that riled up. I thought of myself as Satoko's Nini. Oh, hey guys, Shaggy's playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Again! <laughs> so I only had good intentions, that I'd think about it a little harder than anyone else, and yet... Mm. <laughs> I think we all know the real reason Mion didn't want uh, <laughs> Toko living with her. Uh, it would be hard to explain the torture bunker. <laughs> Mion rubbed away the tears as the corner of her eyes with her fists and apologized as well. We bowed our heads to each other and looked down without glancing at the other. 
<laughs> Someone, I don't know who, heaved a sigh. I think it was you, Satoko being tormented, had been known about since last year. How had the tragedy back then saved Satoko? How had they brought it to an end? Tell me, they just... You just set up her uncle with a, a match on Tinder. This is, I, I'm five steps ahead, all right? I don't think that's actually going to happen, but... <laughs> to be fair, it's easy to assume Mion doesn't have feelings with how she acts 98% of the time. In the end, nobody could do anything. All they could do is bear it patiently and wait for those agonizing days to end. That's right. The one who brought it to an end those, to those terrible days was some crazy drug egg addict nobody knew. On the night of the Watanagashi last year, their mean aunt had been beaten to death. But it hadn't been done to save Satoko or Satoshi. Right. It really was just a coincidence. Satoko's friends, who needed to do something for her most of all, could do nothing. The incident may have been a tragic one, but from Satoko's viewpoint, it was nothing less than a miracle. Yes, a miracle. A miracle one could only wait for. <laughs> Keiji's like, I got it! We've got to get a drug addict to kill the uncle! <laughs> not for evidence of abuse, not for something that minor. <laughs> no one made fun of me for using such a crazy word. We couldn't come up with any solutions, so it was the only other thing we could do. <laughs> that one word Mion dropped was the finishing blow. It was hot. My body was sticky with sweat. The worst month. June. Hey! I have OBJECTION! June is the best month. And not just because my birthday's in June. But that is a contributing factor. <laughs>